Hey everybody, this is Robot here from Vespa Motorsport and ScooterWest.com here in San Diego, California. For all things Vespa, if you're looking for parts and accessories, check us out on the web, ScooterWest.com. Uh, we have ad-free videos, you know, as we do not monetize any of our videos, but just help us out. Purchase from our web store. We got you covered, we have it in stock, and let's get on to the subject of this video. So here is the all new GTS 13F-HPE front rack for the 2020 uh, GTS HPE uh, Vespa. They've completely restyled the front end of the scooter and unfortunately the prior folding front racks do not work. There is a factory front rack, a GTS 13 uh, PA-HPE I think it is, look in the description. Mounts up identical, but it's rather expensive being a Vespa original accessory. If you're looking for a less expensive Italian made alternative, this Faco rack is perfect for you. So let's get on to installation. So here's the tools needed to install the GTS 13F-HPE. Included with the Faco front rack kit is the hardware kit. You're gonna need a four millimeter Allen driver. It could be just a regular L-shaped one to drive the single fastener. You have these spacer bolts. You're gonna need a 13 millimeter socket on a ratchet. I have a little quarter inch ratchet. And you'll need a drill. It could be a corded one, a cordless one. Probably not a hand drill, it won't work. And you'll need a drill bit that's approximately 3 eighths. But I'd recommend having an index because I'll show you why, where I'll, I'll try to get the hole as centered as I can before I drill the final hole into this front cover. And to remove the front cover, you're gonna need a T25 Torx and a small flat blade screwdriver to pry your badge off. All right, so first of all, we'll carefully pry off the badge with a very small flat blade screwdriver. Go in from the left side and just carefully pull away. Don't twist the screwdriver because that's how you can damage the plastic. And that reveals single fastener and it holds this front cover on. So T25 Torx driver, remove the fastener. And just pull the front cover away from the bodywork. So it take, takes a little bit of force to pull these off for the first time. And it's retained by these pair of um, body fastener clips right here. So the first step, you'll take this extra long spacer and you'll sight down this hole right above this horn right here. And just go ahead and start that fastener up. And I'm using a little ratchet because you do not want to over tighten these. You can't torque these all the way. They, they typically will break. They're just uh, not made you know, in the same grade as steel. They're a little bit uh, softer steel compared to a regular bolt. And here's the painful part. We're gonna drill the hole for the, um, for this spacer to come through. And the way I like to do it is just start with a quarter inch hole, six millimeter if you're using a metric index. So just a, a smaller hole than we normally need. And I know I'm doing this on my lap, isn't the smartest idea, but kind of want to show everybody. Put on something soft. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to drill into my crotch, but. So right there, right below this, this mounting post right here, you can see a little dent in the bodywork. Just carefully drill right through with a small drill. And with the FACO instructions, just say drill it with 11 millimeter um, Drill bit, which is like a 7 16 kind of just make a big old hole. But typically, I like to see where this all lines up. So I could tell, just looking at it, just kind of temporarily getting this, this set up, that the hole is, needs to go a little higher. So I'll move my way up to the 7 16 drill. Or you can even go a little smaller. I think you almost get away with a three eighths. And the idea is you can get 
the hole that you're going to drill perfectly centered with that boss that's been threaded in there. So I know I'm going to be in the way of the camera, but I'm looking down there and it's up and off to the side a little bit. I want to keep it pretty centered. So I'm going to just carefully hold the drill bit and you could kind of put some extra pressure on the drill bit and and just make the hole kind of where you needed to do that. And it's nice to have really sharp drill bits because you're going to drill really nice and not chip the paint. Next we can put the second spacer in. And go ahead and take your your ratchet with the 13 millimeter socket on there. And don't worry about wet, you know, water getting into that. You know, it all drains out. It's not going to pool up inside the horn. It's open just like the horn grills there. One other added little thing you, you can do is you can take an O-ring, pretty simple to find. You can find them at a hardware store, automotive store, and just roll an O-ring over this to kind of fill up the, the small amount of gap that you have. Not included with the kit. So you take an O-ring that's similar diameter to the shaft and just roll it right over the nut and just situate it right there. It kind of is just like a nice little finish. If you want, don't need to do that. It's not included. Keep in mind when you have the rack on the front of the scooter, it's going to distract you from looking at that single fastener. This is identical how the factory front folding rack mounts to this scooter. So there's the original Piaggio one mounts exactly the same. We'll go ahead and put the fastener back in place for the underneath this badge, snap the badge back in into place. We'll take the front rack and pretty much hook it onto the front of the frame. And you can get this centered, kind of get these two dimensions approximately centered up. Take the single fastener with this flat washer and just go ahead and get it started. Take a four millimeter Allen key here. And before you tighten this all the way down, I'll show you one other little trick to get the fitment just perfect. You see the pair of rubber uh, feet right here that go up against the bodywork. You can rotate them. They do have an angle to them and get them where they seat just perfectly up against the bodywork. So just kind of push them around and there's like a, a position where they end up lining up really nice. So, you know, cause they are angled to match the contour of the bodywork. So go ahead and tighten that down. And there you have it. Pretty simple to install other than the painful part of drilling a hole in your bodywork. Uh, no different than the factory rack in functionality. Uh, just a more affordable price. Made in Italy. Maximum loads about, they re recommend six kilograms. You gotta be careful overloading the front end of a scooter. Uh, I can a test of putting like 15, 20 pounds on it does affect the handling, but they could probably handle that. No problem. Um, six kilograms about, what was that? 10, 10 pounds, somewhere in that range. So there you go. How to install a front rack to add to your GTS HPE. Pretty sharp looking accessory. Definitely adds to the touring look of your Vespa GTS. Uh, in chrome finish. So keep in mind you do want to keep this up. Put like a light coat of automotive wax or you can even spray silicone. Um, silicon spray lubricant is a good protectant. That's real uh, thin and clear. You can put it on a rag and wipe it down. You have some of these various stickers. If you want to remove them, they come off fairly easy. Um, folds down. You put a blanket right across there. You can put a basket. Uh, you can put a box. You can put a six pack of uh, hopefully cans. I don't know about bottles. 
Um, you could fix this down permanently with a hose clamp or alternately we sell a clip that goes on here. See the part number in the description or it's an associated part to any of the front racks. It will clamp this down so it'll stay put. Uh, you can use a bungee cord to hold whatever you want. So not only does it look good, it could come in handy if you need to add more load to your scooter on a tour or just going across town shopping. Until next time, it's the robot here from Vespa Motorsport and ScooterWest.com here in San Diego. Ride safe and see you next time.